The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Forum for Nonprofits, presented in the public interest by the Beasley Broadcast Group. Each week, we focus on a worthy organization and learn how you can lend support. And now, here's your host, President of Ellen Shulman Public Relations, Ellen Shulman. Well, good morning. Today, it's Duff Lindsay filling in for Ellen Shulman, who is not here today. It's going to be a great show, though. We have uh, the people from ARC Broward, A-R-C, ARC Broward. And uh, they include uh, Dennis Haas, who is uh, Ark Broward president and CEO. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dennis. Welcome. And Jessica Kersey, development director from Ark Broward. Welcome as well. Thank you, Duff. Good morning. I think the thing to ask right up front, in case people are not aware of the organization, is um, tell us what Ark Broward is and maybe a little history of what uh, you guys do. Okay, great. Arc Broward is a not-for-profit organization based in Broward County and is almost 60 years old and primarily provides a wide, wide range of services to folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And that includes things like Down syndrome, autism, cerebral palsy, and other what we call intellectual disabilities today. So the organization, uh, in addition to serving those folks and their families, uh, we also, with some of our programs, serve individuals that have various other challenges. They may be disabilities or just need a helping hand to uh, find their way through some job training or one of our other programs. The organization uh, has 21 different programs from little babies and preschool programs all the way up to uh, seniors who I believe our oldest is just under 80 years old. And uh, the 21 programs range from uh, preschool, after school, summer camps, counseling, residential programs, and a wide range of sort of what folks might need to help them achieve their fullest potential. That's really our ultimate goal. But we also uh, do some things that aren't so typical for a nonprofit organization. And Ark Broward, uh, 10, 12 years ago, decided that uh, its reliance on funding from government, state and local government, and fundraising uh, was uh, eventually uh, – uh, not going to be enough because the demand for services is so great and increases from year to year. So with a very forward-thinking group of volunteer board members and uh, and staff, the organization started what we call mission-based enterprises. Those are really businesses that the organization operates that have something to do with furthering its mission so we operate a culinary school, the Ark Broward Culinary Institute, that is both a school but also has a catering business attached to it. And in addition, we'll talk more about that in a little bit, but uh, and another, one of the other enterprises is the Ark Broward Electronics Recycling Service. And that involves computer recycling, so it keeps phones, computers, copy machines and other televisions, all kinds of things with a plug out of the landfills, which is bad for the water table, but also provides uh, job opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities or intellectual disabilities, and at the same time is doing good things for the environment. Can you um, let me know how, how long ago did these mission um, programs start? The electronics recycling service started uh, almost 12 years ago, uh, and the Ark Broward Culinary Institute is about six years old. I want to get the phone number and website out there nice and early in the show. Um, to reach Ark Broward by telephone, it's 954-746-9400. And the website is uh, very simple, arcbroward.com, A-R-C Broward dot com. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. (laughs) 
Do they just search Ark Broward and that's how it would come up? Yes. And and that website will link to the uh, the mission based enterprises and tell somebody all about the organization, how they can get involved, and uh, details about the various programs. Okay, so go to the website and get some background on this. Jessica. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to <laughs> you. Clearly, we don't stay busy at all at Ark Broward. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, so excited to be here this morning and and to be joining Dennis to tell all your listeners about ARC Broward. As Director of Development, I have the pleasure of being out in the community and really sharing our story and connecting both donors and volunteers with the organization. And um, as you can hear from what Dennis was saying, we have an abundance of programs, and we serve just a, a such a large population in Broward County. And but really, when it comes down to it, it's just about you know, that one family, that one child, that one adult that whose life we've been able to change. And and since joining the organization, I've really had the opportunity to hear some of those stories from our families. And um, I think, you know, maybe your listeners would, would want to hear a couple of those. So, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, they certainly bring it back to, um, bring it back home to us and, and keep us connected to what we're doing. I remember a couple months ago, I invited several of the moms who support Art Broward, whose kids um, are in both the children's programs and even a mom that has a daughter in our adult day program and we all went out to lunch and it was just really just such a life-changing moment for me to sit around and hear these mothers talk about their experiences both raising a child and now having an adult with an intellectual disability and one mother in particular said to me and and not being a mother right now but hoping to be a mother in the future it it really struck home to me about what you think your life is going to be like and then and then what it what it is and and what she said was I always thought that I was going to be the mom and I was going to have the house that all my kids friends wanted to go to on the weekends that we would be the fun house everyone wanted to come over but unfortunately because of Alex and and us not knowing how he's going to act what his behaviors are going to be she said my my two older kids never have friends over at our house and before finding our after school program for children with autism that have severe behavioral problems behavior problems associated with their autism she said i wasn't able to be a normal mom to my other kids i never got to go to their after school programs i never got to drop them off at sports i had to worry about alex all the time and since finding art broward a few years ago and and her knowing that alex has a safe place to go in the afternoons she said it just allows me those few hours to be a normal mom to my other two kids something that they they never had really been able to experience the whole time as growing up they're both high school students now but she said it was something that she had always wanted and that's such a little thing and we always we focus in the nonprofit world so much on the big outcomes and and wanting to you know make such a huge impact in the community which of course is so important and we um, hold ourselves accountable to our funders to to our donors, to any partner in the community, we want them to know that we are making the, those big those big changes in the community. But again, when it comes down to it, just knowing that we were able to help one mom like that, it, it means the world to us. And there's hundreds and hundreds of more stories. You know, I've, I've only been at the organization for a couple of years. Dennis has been here for 17 years, so he knows even more than I do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's take a short break. We'll be uh, right back with uh, a lot more. We have uh, Dennis Haas, ARC Broward President and CEO, and Jessica Kersey, Development Director at ARC Broward. Again, to reach them, uh, the telephone number is 954-746-9400, and their website is arcbroward.com. We'll be right back. The following message is brought to you by the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this radio station. At the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, our mission is to protect, educate, and promote the hospitality industry. We have more than 10,000 members statewide that are ready to serve you. FRLA members are backed by Florida's premier industry association. So the next time you're dining out at your favorite restaurant or staying at a hotel for the weekend, ask them if they are FRLA members. Only the best ones are. So I'm having this debate with a landlord. I said, no pets. Can't rent you the apartment. My dog is not a pet. Look, I'm legally blind. I need my guide dog. Sorry, those are the rules. 
rules that allow for housing discrimination? So I made a call to HUD. Turns out, landlords must make reasonable accommodations for assistance animals. If you think you've been discriminated against, call HUD at 1-800-669-9777 or go to hud.gov slash fair housing. Fair housing is your right. Use it. A public service message from HUD in partnership with the National Fair Housing Alliance. People between the ages of 13 and 30 are now most at risk of becoming infected with HIV and AIDS. While proper treatment has become much more available and effective, only 25% of Americans with HIV are receiving treatment. This sad fact highlights an awareness gap and the need for education. With regular testing, early detection, and increasingly effective treatments, people can manage HIV and live long, productive lives. Visit actagainstaids.org. A public service message from United Healthcare, actagainstaids.org, and the station. Outdoor living. It's the heart of the Florida lifestyle. And with propane gas, your backyard is your personal paradise. Whether it's heating a spa or pool or fueling an outdoor kitchen, fireplace, or torch lights, propane adds luxury to your life. And clean, burning, and efficient, propane gas is better for the environment. Learn more at propanefl.com. Fuel your Florida lifestyle with propane gas. A message from the Florida Propane Gas Safety, Education, and Research Council, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this station. Welcome back to the Forum for Nonprofits. Again, we are here with uh, folks from Ark Broward. Uh, Dennis Haas and Jessica Kersey are in the studio with us this morning. Um, Dennis, I'm really intrigued by the the, uh, the social enterprises that you, you talked about, in, in particular since I wake up hungry and it's early in the morning. Um, culinary just sort of <laughs> it's stuck in there. Tell us a little bit more about that and, and the other enterprises. We, sh- we should have brought you some food, Duff. I'm oh. sorry. Next time, <laughs> next time we'll bring you some treats from Ark Broward Culinary Institute for sure. Okay, the Ark Broward Culinary Institute, the school part, is a 16-week entry-level culinary arts certificate course. That means that if a student comes to us, and these are students who are 18 years or older, and if they come to us uh, and they're eligible and complete the course, which we'll talk about, uh, uh, the course is not a traditional sit-in-a-classroom the whole time experience. It's very, very hands-on in our catering business. But uh, what, that student will leave with a certificate that's recognized by the State Department of Education. It's accredited. And then we will help them go find a job in the community with that uh, with that experience and with that certificate. And for a lot of us, finding a job is the ultimate, and it's the same and even more important for the folks that we're serving. And so if you think back to what's hard for us in terms of getting a job, we need training. So the course provides you with training. We need some piece of paper if we can get it. The certificate provides us with that. And then we need to all too often know somebody. So networking with folks that might hire me is important and we provide that as well as some experience so you can build a resume when you're interviewing you have some experience under your belt so the Ark Broward Culinary Institute combines all those things so I've talked a little bit about the coursework but the catering business which is absolutely top-notch mouth-watering catering for those of you foodies out there uh, will be amazed at the quality of their work, but it provides the students with real life experience, and they are working and catering weddings, parties, bar mitzvahs, corporate events, anything you can imagine. Uh, and while they're doing that, they're meeting other chefs and other individuals to help them network in the community as well. And one of the more exciting uh, ways that culinary students get experience is through our underground supper club, which is uh, another way for folks out there to get involved in a very, very fun, have a very fun experience. I think I'll let Jessica yeah, tell I'm, us about that. I'm wondering, that. though, can we share can we share the secret here? This is a big secret that we're about to tell all your listeners okay. about, this underground supper club. It's called the Traveling Plate, and we have dinners about every six weeks throughout South Florida. You don't find out the location. You don't find out the menu until you don't even you're not, aren't even able to purchase tickets until about a week prior to the event and these are small dinners 
about 40 people, maybe sometimes up to 50, but even down to just a handful, 20 people at these dinners, we find unique venues. We find local chefs. Um, most recent, this Tuesday, we're going to have a chef from the um, Chef D'Angelo's restaurant group. Chef Giovanni is joining us. And so what happens at these dinners is our students get to work with these phenomenal chefs. South Florida is full of some incredible chefs and they get the opportunity to work with them for a night to plan out the menu, to serve our guests. And Dennis talked about what really the Culinary Institute provides for our students. One thing I think he left off that is very important is um, an opportunity to have someone to believe in you. And when we kind of all think back to, at least I, I know with finding my first job, gosh, you would have thought my parents thought anyone who didn't hire me were like the craziest people on the face of the earth. How could you not hire me? And I was so fortunate to have that belief system at home who stood by me and and really encouraged me. And our students have grown up in, in an environment, most of them, it's not that their families don't encourage them. It's just it's been a hard road for them and their families. When you have someone in your life with a disability, every day is a struggle with, with something, whether it's overcoming a challenge in school or, or um, in just, you know, the world in general. So for them, what I see is so just life-changing and transforming about our students throughout the program is that they have all these people, some of them strangers around them, cheering them on and supporting them. At the end of the dinners for the traveling plate, they get standing ovations from the individuals that they served. And that feeling and that confidence that they get is something that I think will take them further than anything else that w- that we could provide for them a certificate the learning how to chop which believe me I probably need to sit in on those classes too they have much better knife skills than I ever will but really just having that confidence and knowing that that they can go out there and succeed in the world and no matter what they choose to do is is certainly the most important thing we do and and by hiring us to cater one of your events you'll see that firsthand so please check out again I'll say the website one more time www.arcbroward.com. You can get a link to the Culinary Institute and the traveling plate. I'm only going to say this one time because it's top secret and it's underground, but you have to go to Facebook backslash the traveling plate and find us and like us on Facebook and subscribe to our email list so that you can find out when the next dinner is and, and hopefully some of your listeners can join us. Just a little inside though. That's, that's the secret. (laughs) <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> We're going to take another uh, short break. We're here with uh, Jessica Kersey. Thank you, Jessa. Jessica and Dennis Haas, both from ARC Broward, A-R-C Broward, and we will be right back. A healthier you is the first step toward a healthy baby. When planning a pregnancy, baby steps toward better health can deliver big results. Exercising regularly and eating a balanced diet will help you reach or maintain a healthy weight and increase the likelihood of a healthy baby. Taking a multivitamin containing folic acid every day helps prevent birth defects. And regular medical and dental checkups are especially important when planning for pregnancy. To learn more about taking your baby steps toward a healthy pregnancy, call Florida's Family Health Line at 1-800-451-2229. Everything you love about Florida is more fun when shared with friends. The beach, the parks, the sunshine. So why not invite your friends? It's a great way to create new memories and help support our state. Think of yourself as a steward of sunshine, an ambassador of your town, a maker of memories. Okay, you get the idea. If you love Florida, share it. Invite your friends and family to visit Florida at sharelittlesunshine.org. Looking for ways to reduce your home's energy use? Propane tankless water heaters heat water instantly, whenever it's needed, eliminating wasted energy. And propane is clean burning and efficient, which is better for the environment. Learn more about energy-saving tankless water heaters at propanefl.com. Propane gas. Exceptional living from the exceptional energy. A message from the Florida Propane Gas Safety, Education, and Research Council, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this station. It might be the door alarm, or the new safety drain covers, the pool fencing, even the swim lessons. But the fact is, you can never know which safety step will save a life, until it does. 
Adding multiple safety steps to your safe pool practices can mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. A public service message from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the American Red Cross, and YMCA of the USA. Welcome back to the Forum for Nonprofits. Ellen Schulman is not with us today, but I am. My name is Duff Lindsay. I'm proud to be here with um, the good folks from ARC, A-R-C Broward. ARCBroward.com is the website. The phone number, 954-746-9400. And uh, uh, Dennis, can you... um, so, so, so if someone has uh, a youngster or a family member who is in need of your services, how do they get um, in touch and what's the process? Well, very often there are also folks that aren't so sure if they're in need of services uh, or are struggling to figure out what's going on, particularly with a, 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 a young child, a very young child, and – I would say to all of the listeners out there and your friends that if you have any question whatsoever about how your child is developing or with respect to at any age, if uh, you just need information, uh, the best thing to do is to reach out to us by calling the telephone number 954-746-9400. And just asking to speak with somebody about some information, all you need to do is tell them whether you're talking about an adult or a child, and they'll get you to the right place. And um, many, many times people just aren't sure uh, uh, about how to even ask a question. So if you think you have one, call us. That's where your experts will help them along in the process. Yes, and if we can't provide the services or the assistance ourselves, we'll make sure that you get to somebody that can talk to you about about that. Now, what about people with businesses or people in general who might want to help to support the organization? Well, I'm certainly glad you asked that question. And and as this show being focused on nonprofits, I I would think that all your listeners out there are very interested in in getting involved in in some way with the organizations that they, they learn about through you. In particular with Arc Broward, we have several different ways that, that you can get involved. Of course, if you are just looking for a meaningful volunteer experience, we have plenty of those for you. And you can always, again, go onto our website, and we actually have a volunteer special page on our website and an application process for them that they can walk through or again they can pick up the phone and call us i know today we're also hesitant to use the phone because we're so we're so based on the website and email but we have the probably the friendliest receptionist in the whole wide world and she would be happy to help you if you want to volunteer second of course is if you can help us financially our programs rely heavily on the support of individuals and corporations and foundations really all over the country and so if if today you're drawn no matter what amount you want to give to us please do so we would appreciate your support so much and you can either give online through our website or you can do it the old-fashioned way I, I get excited with every check that comes in the mail so we are happy to take whatever form of payment you would like to give we love your support you can also as a company really think about you know what is what are the goals of your corporation is it to do some team building activities with the nonprofit is it to get your name associated with some um, big event in town. We actually annually host an event called Delish where we have celebrity chef Michelle Bernstein who is somewhat of our celebrity ambassador for the Culinary Institute and she came up from Miami last year and will be joining us this year too in March 2014. So if your corporation would like to uh, sponsor that event, you know, again, you can go onto our website, Facebook page and as, as details roll out about the event, you can find out about it and you can also, you know, think about remembering us in your estate planning. If you have money that you're wondering, what am I going to do with this after I'm gone, and how am I going to make a long-lasting impact in this community? We've been around for 60 years, and I can tell you that we will be around for 60-plus more. So with with everyone's support in this community, we will continue serving this fragile population, but yet just such such a, 
a um, a population that at times can be forgotten about in this day and age, and and it shouldn't be. You know, they they are just as important. They have just as much potential as any of us. It's all about we believe so much in inclusion, and we believe in really giving all every client that we serve the opportunity to as Dennis said earlier, reach their fullest potential. So any of your listeners out there today that have want to participate in that and want to help us with that, again, go, go to our website, call. You can ask for me directly. I'm Jessica Kersey, and I'm, I'm happy to, to talk to anyone who wants to get involved. Let me ask you this. Is, is there a, a donate button on the website? Oh, yes. And I will happily direct you to it if you cannot find it. But it is on the home page, and you just click there and walk through and, and donate online to us and, and share with your friends. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, share with them that you gave back to us. And um, we we appreciate your support. Again, Duff, it does not matter how big or small the amount is. We appreciate it, and it will make a huge difference to us. Thank you, uh, Jessica. And uh, Dennis, for being here today, we are uh, with the people from ARC Broward, longtime organization doing some wonderful things to help people with disabilities and uh, other life-changing uh, realities. Thank you so much for uh, coming on Forum for Nonprofit today. The phone number to reach ARC Broward is 954-746-9400 or 9400. And... Um, and the website is arcbroward, arcbroward.com. And everybody, we'll see you again next week. Thank you for listening to the Forum for Nonprofits. We hope this week's program has inspired you to get involved and give back. Forum for Nonprofits is produced by Ellen Schulman, president of Ellen Schulman Public Relations. Find out more at forumfornonprofits.org. This program is a public affairs presentation of the Beasley Broadcast Group. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.